reporting for Pretzel Press Junior High Edition. Today we are here with a very special interview with 7th grade teacher, Miss Tom. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. That's good. Hopefully the crazies in the background are quiet enough so we can get through this interview. Yeah. So I've heard you like to read books. I do. What's your favorite book? Um, I can't say that I have a favorite book, but I think that my favorite series is still the Harry Potter series. Why is that? I think it's very well written. And I like the storyline. I think there's enough action and adventure and a teeny tiny little bit of romance. Just enough. That's good. Um, what is your best accomplishment for you? Ooh. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, probably going back to school and getting my teaching um, certification. Yes. Um, that's probably one of the most recent accomplishments that I've had. Yeah, that's yeah. a big part of your life. Yeah. Going to school um, what was your dream job when I was growing up? I wanted to be independently wealthy. I wanted to own my own business. Oh, yeah. I, I honestly, growing up, I never thought that I would be married. I thought that I would be single. I would live in a loft. I would have my own business. Yeah. yeah. So your tweet wall. Yeah. What is that for? Um, since I teach seventh grade English, we do a lot of reading, and the students like to share what they've read and information about what they've read, and so I gave them an opportunity to create little birds and tweet information um, about the books that they've read. And so other students who've read um, a book, you'll notice that there's like a retweet symbol. Um, if they've read the book, then they can put a retweet symbol on there. If they like the um, description or the tweet that someone wrote, they can put a sticker on it, just like you would on Twitter. So just another way to let students talk about books. Thank you. Um. So, what's your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie, I think, is Six Days, Seven Nights. Can you react to scene from that? <laughs> no, because the only scene... Okay, there's a scene that... Uh, what's her name? Um, she gets out of a plane and she's yelling at the other one and she's... I, I can't reenact it. I truly can't. I can't. I wouldn't. Uh. I wouldn't even know how. <laughs> So, uh, what's your favorite sport that you like to play? I'm not, I'm not very good at sports. So what was your favorite sport? You were, you were, you were, I was a golfer. You were a golfer? Yeah, that was the only one because it didn't require like being around other people and doing things with other people. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a very good team sport player. <laughs> and I'm accident prone, oh, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty accident prone. Yes, you are. About <laughs> 12 or something. Um, where, like, where would you want to go for a dream vacation? Oh, okay, I saw online the other day, there's this picture of, um, it's like in the ocean, I don't know where it is, like maybe the, is it the Mal Maldives Island, uh, someplace like that. Anyway, beautiful, but it had like a pool in the ocean. And so there's like this deck out there, and then it was a pool in the ocean, and these places and things that you could read, and I would want to go someplace warm with yeah. oak water and just read. And so I wouldn't have to babysit students in my room and make sure that they're staying in the classroom um, while their teacher is otherwise occupied. The car, yeah. I take a pretty good vacation. Yes. Um, so what is the funniest experience you've had while teaching? <laughs> um, I had a student today, as a matter of fact, um, reading aloud in front of the class and kind of was mumbling quite a bit and I had to remind the student that they needed to speak up and he raised his head and looked at me and glowered and said, you sound just like my mom. And then got up out of the chair, walked all the way over into my space and said, my mom says that to me when I'm reading at home. That, I was kind of floored. I didn't yeah, quite know how to react to that. Oh, okay, thank you, you can go back. <laughs> So I heard you singing weddings a while back. It's been a long time, but I had an injury to my vocal cords that oh. renders me it's impossible to sing. I can't. Oh, well, I was going to ask if you see I know, but unfortunately, the injury has kept me. Yeah. I have notes. Oh, that's sad. Notes. Um, can you dance? Dance. <laughs> dance. Um, I took ballroom dancing when I was in sec uh, sixth grade. Oh, yeah. I did. Can you perform? Sure, would you like to dance with me? Uh, like, no. dance? Sure, sure. Come on. I'll teach you. We'll, we'll do the swing. Are you ready? Oh, what's that? Okay, come over here. Now. You can put your hand right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to step to the left and then to the right. right. And then you're going 
go back, step back, uh -huh. and then rock forward on your other foot. Okay, ready? Yeah. So it's so sad. Go ahead. See, I'm leading. But you're the guy, so you can pretend to lead. See, come on, you gotta get into it. Don't be a little jelly. Arms with go. Um, and land in a circle. See, you got it. Yeah. It'll come to you one of these days. Yeah. By the time you get married, you'll need to know how to do that. Uh, you're welcome. Or ten questions too. Was that ten already? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Thanks yes. for coming by. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>